also as well. Hemang Jani as well joins us on the show. Hi, Hemang. Uh, thanks so much for joining in. Well, we want to discuss a lot of stocks with you, Hemang. So let's start off with one buzzing stock and then I'll come to you for uh, your view on it. Uh, GMDC. You know, the stock is buzzing in today's trading session. Just a few days ago, the management had put out on the exchanges that they've gone ahead and increased the dividend for the past year by around 20%, from around 9 rupees 10 paise to around 11 rupees 45 uh, paise. The street has taken it very, very positively. In fact, the stock price only has moved 20%, you know, uh, uh, post this revision. The dividend yield on the current stock price is around 5.1, 5.2% approximately. And the total dividend payout as a percentage of the last year's EPS is closer to around 30%. The last quarter's numbers, though, were disappointing. No two ways about that. There was a compression on margins both on a year and year as well as on a sequential basis. The revenues were lower. The profitability as well got hit. Maybe various factors played out. Maybe the onset of the monsoon or early monsoon could have hurt them. The power business as well out there is struggling. Next uh, up, what are the triggers going ahead? Why is the street so excited? One point is they're hopeful that there'll be a recovery of performance. Now, quarter two is normally seasonally weak for them. So the hope is that in the second half of the year, there'll be a revival out there. So let's hope margins improve on that front. And the next biggest trigger for them is the unlocking of the opportunity in the rare earth elements business. They've been pumping in money in there. They have getting consultants as well online, but we need to see some delivery. But the street is optimistic on that front. As looking at the shareholding pattern, you have close to 74% stake with the promoter entity, which is the government. And also the FIs and DIs put it together, they have close to 4.5% stake, though I didn't find any notable name among the FIs and DIs. So there is some participation, but we'll still be waiting by for the name out there. So that's the entire, uh, you know, all those triggers and all the factors with regard to GMDC. Hey, Mang, coming across to you, at around 220 rupees, you've seen it before at this price, but it did correct from there on. What's your view on it? Is there something really going to come about from this rare earth opportunity that they've been talking about? How bullish are you? Good afternoon, Nigel. I think uh, we should see some of these uh, stocks movement uh, in the context of the broader PSU theme, which is at play, you know, particularly defense, railway, some of the power. And occasionally, we'll find that some of the smaller PSU or the state PSU, as we call it, basis, certain developments like in DC, people are talking about uh, the implementation of the rare earth metal uh, policy by the government and the possible you know, benefit it could have for some of these uh, you know, PSU companies like Hindustan Copper, GMDC. And also there is an element of uh, lithium uh, plan also, which is there where uh, GMDC could play a role. But my uh, take, uh, Nigel, is that uh, we should take certain things with a pinch of salt. I think we don't need to chase any and every small PS2 stock, uh, you know, just because there is some buzz in the market or there is a momentum. I think it makes more sense to stay focused on the names where there is a certain degree of earning visibility or you know that, let's say, fence is the core theme and you know that there is a certain amount of, uh, you know, a re-rating which is happening because of the focus of the government, because of the regional or, or geopolitical issues which are there. So I think it would make more sense to stay with selective names rather than chasing multiple names. Mm, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Imang, do stay on. We want to talk about the big story, one that everyone in India is.